for years we've been, in science, we've been doing the carrying out investigation part. And we've gotten pretty good at that. The only problem is that the investigations we've been carrying out have been what I would call cookbook labs. They're very, very, very scripted. And, um, you know, what we know has been happening over time is kids come in and they're handed, a, you know, a lab sheet and it's got all this detail. It's got these step, you know, procedure and it's got 27 steps in the procedure. And you're telling kids to read carefully and make sure you're following, you know, all the steps. And kids could actually get through the entire investigation and you can look at a kid and say, okay, so can you, can you just talk to me about what you did today and what you learned and they'll look at you and not be able to talk about it, which is a really scary thing, but we've seen that happen time and time again. So we're trying to change the focus into, you know, just the carrying out investigation to really engage them in the planning process. So giving them an opportunity to, to think about a concept or think about an idea or think about a question that they've come up with and how would they go about answering that question? What kind of information would they need? This process takes much longer. I could do a, a cookbook lab in 50 minutes at the high school level, but the whole planning out the investigation could add an extra two or three days or even more to, to the process because if you've got some new ideas and maybe even some new equipment, you might need the first day just for the kids to be introduced to equipment and sort of quote unquote play with it. Like, what does this do? Like, you know, if, if we're hooking up a temperature probe, do they know how that temperature probe works? And maybe they need a day of putting the temperature probe in hot water and cold water and just watching how that, how, how the information changes and how they get that information. So they need, they need time to sort of maybe play with, with the equipment or think about it and look at what resources they have available as they begin their planning. So there's some time involved. My students are going to be designing a coal pack, the most cost-effective coal pack. Um, so they're going to be dealing with endothermic and exothermic reactions. This is day one of a three-day um, investigation. So day one, they're going to be planning and carrying out uh, an investigation. So they're going to kind of be de designing uh, how to go about um, figuring out what salt is going to produce the best result for them. I will provide them with a little bit of background because we want it to be effect, cost effective. Ultimately, we don't want them going in using 20 grams of a salt when they really only need to use three to five. So I think it'll just save a lot of product and for the school will be cost effective. So a little bit of background will be good. So it's kind of a little bit of a guided inquiry, but really it's meant to be 100% inquiry where they decide how they're going to run the reaction um, what they're going to do with the temperature probe, how they're going to collect the data. So I have a graphic organizer that's going to help them kind of work through the procedures that they need to do, the safety protocols, and what type of data they're going to analyze, uh, how they're going to analyze it.